Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, I've been playing this game quite a lot. Oh my god, I just bit my tongue just now. Holy shit. Anyways, uh, I just, I've been playing this game quite a lot. Um, for the past, I think it hasn't even been a week since the game was out. I'm one of the top players in the arena, I think. Am I? Oh my god, uh, shit, um, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, that was, <laughs> that was a bug that I, I usually get. Um, Whenever I play the game, I don't know if you, any of you guys get this, but if I ever try clicking the game um, and wait after a while, like I click the arena, the m moment I click PvP, I, I disconnect, like instantly. It just kicks me out and I have to relog. But I guess it isn't the worst thing in the world because the login time for this game isn't exactly all that long. But anyways, I've been playing this game for about, um, I, I would say six days now. Um, has it been six days? No, it has only been five days. Okay, it felt like six days. Anyways, I'm, I was pretty close. So I've been playing this game for five days now, and I've been playing pretty pretty actively every single day. I'm I'm uh, you know I part oh my god, who the fuck just hit me? 381. God damn it! I was like rank 100 something. All right, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fuck someone up for that. Can I can I fuck this one? Uh, 340, 190. Come on, can I can I get a guy like that's around 100 something? Okay, I guess I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter all that much. All right, this this guy I can bully him. All right, so let's let's just uh, let's just fuck him up. Anyways, I I think I'm at least like top 500 in the arena. Um, this guy's in, this guy's a. Uh, oh, is is he part of the guild? Yeah, he's part of the lunatics guild. Uh, there's there's a few top guilds like Fearless, Lunatics, VN Pro, and uh, I think I think I don't know I don't know the name of the rest rest of them because some of them are like Korean or some weird random language. But I've been playing this game for about five minutes, and I've I've said that for the third time within two minutes. And you know I've basically been learning a lot of about the game. So I'm be I'm gonna be covering what I do daily, like basically my daily routine on how to progress in the game. Um, and maybe maybe this will be a top five, like, you know, top five things to do video, but I don't really have a number of things I need to do. I'm just going to be going through every single one of them. Um, you know, maybe it'll, it'll end up as, as five things to do. Then I, I can make a really, really cool title for this video. Anyways. <laughs> First thing, I complete all my daily quests. That is probably the most important thing you want to do in this game. If you want to progress, if you want to keep up with the best players in the game, um, definitely you want to you want to keep up on your quests. The main reason why you keep on keep up on the quests is for the EXP. This EXP is super super important. I think the most important thing about this game is actually the player's EXP. For a lot of the other games I played that are somewhat related or t to this type of game. Um, the actual player EXP isn't all that important, but a lot of the regions and stuff in this game are actually locked to, for locked for um, certain players until they reach a certain level. For example, if we take a look at my normal mode, um, you know this is the furthest I've cleared, and I cannot enter the next stage unless I'm account level 36. So right now I'm only level 29. The highest I've seen in the game is like 30 right now, uh, maybe 31. Maybe after a few hours today, someone probably already hit 31 in my guild or any or something like that. But they're 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 more hardcore than me. All right, that's that's all I can say. Um, but <laughs> they've they've been playing a lot. You know, you basically you want to keep up on on your player level because player level means you will be able to have access to higher level maps. And having access to higher level maps means there's more chance for you to. Um, to get higher level material. If you if you take a look at my transmute material for um, I guess he's he's already a little bit too high. Um, actually, yeah, he's a he's a pretty good example. So this guy is at purple plus three, and I want to get him to red, which is like the next rank. And in order to do that, I need a lot of these things. Um, these drop obviously in stage four, three, five, two, five, five, and six, one, and all the way up to seven. I've noticed that drop rates for transmute materials, especially ones that drop on like you know different stages, the higher that you go, the higher chance that you um, that it actually drops the item that you want. So hmm, these only drop from normal, 
But anyways, they it's it's very very difficult to to get like all these materials because they're they're pretty limited. Um, you know, your energy is limited. You can't you can't really infinitely farm in this game. So you you kind of want to make the best use out of your energy, which which would be to to farm the highest la map um, possible for for certain materials and. You can't do that unless you you have the player you know required level in order to unlock that map. Um, the map I'm on right now, the one with the with all the snowy stuff like stage five, Orin. This map is only unlockable at level 27, and so like I, I was actually stuck for like a day or so before um, trying to raise my level, trying to trying to get past this to to eventually unlock this level. I'm not too worried about how like the difficulty of the level is because I don't think it's actually that hard because the first day I've unlocked this like I just basically went through everything got perfect clear and just you know finished everything really really fast um, so the most important thing is probably to raise your level to make sure your level is just as high as it can possibly be um, obviously there's people refreshing people going pay to win uh, you know buying tons and tons of of diamonds to keep refreshing and then they can therefore play more and get more levels um, but you know it's, it's not it's not the worst thing it's not like the worst thing in the world like having a little bottleneck because it it does help uh, keep the like the, the really really pay to win players like it keeps them um, um, you know reeled in a little bit but you know for for us that are that are just normally playing the game like for Right now, so far, I'm completely free to play. So I, I basically, I just make sure I do my daily quest every single day. Uh, the s second most important thing is to make sure you use up your. Um, I guess this is, this is also tied to the daily quest. Because if you do the daily quest, then it means that you will, you'll be doing the time rift. Because there's a daily quest that requires you to, to do the time rift. Um, you'll be doing the Tower of Insolence at least three times because the daily quest requires you to do the Tower of Insolence. Um, and it, you'll be doing certain normal mode stages that you want to farm. I'm actually going to go a little bit into detail about this, I think. Um, so, normal modes, uh, the difference between normal mode and easy mode is they have a chance to drop certain materials that are only limited to, limited to normal mode. And also certain stages have a chance to drop the Soul Stones. So certain monsters are farmable off the normal mode stages. Like for right now, I usually farm these two because I have them in my core team. Um, and if you go to other maps, like you'll see all these monsters. So my recommendation would be to obviously farm all the stages that you want. Um, you want certain certain monsters, certain certain soul stones for, because you know you need the soul stones. You eventually need more soul stones in order to raise the the star level of that monster. Um, so definitely do that. And the second thing is to farm for materials that are only limited on normal mode. I'm not too sure about this. I don't know how much you want to farm exactly because I I did mention before that the drop rates for certain items are definitely higher. So for me right now, like I I'm not too uh, I'm not putting too much effort on on farming these materials because these materials only drop off normal mode. And it's gonna be a very very long time before I have enough to raise them to the max level. So. Right now, I'm a little bit more focused on getting these materials, you know, the, the ones that are farmable off of the easy mode maps, um, and then I can farm them as much as possible. And I think I can at least raise one monster to plus three, like, each day for the next three days. Um, so yeah, there's, there's that as well. So for normal mode, just basically farm for soul stones and farm for the materials that you need. But be careful about the material, the, 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 like, the limited materials. Um, I know for some... Uh, some of the earlier materials, you you can only get them off normal mode. Um, I think like some some potion materials. I I'm not sure if you guys can see them. Like like these potions, these these ones like pure potion of strength. You can only get them from normal mode, so you can't get them from from easy mode. But you still need those potions to progress. So definitely farm the normal modes to get those potions. But you probably don't need to farm any more no, normal mode un, until um, you want to get your your monster to the red quality. I think this is the highest quality. I'm not sure exactly what comes after this. I haven't seen anyone with a red monster yet, so um, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see about that. So the second thing is also um, I talked a little bit about this, 
which is the Tower of Insolence. Um, the Tower of Insolence you want to do as much as possible because the Tower of Insolence works in a way where um, you can get certain items, like these drop items, and they don't share the same energy system as your other energy. And you can only do them seven times a day, so you want to make sure you use your seven tries as much as possible. Keep in mind that the Tower of Insolence, like, if you've already done this before, you probably know that if one of your monsters die, you're not able to use that monster again for the rest of the day, and you have to wait for the next day. Um, I would say, as you progress, like, use the Tower of Insolence to, like, just try to climb the floors. Like, look at the monster levels. If they're around your level, you know, you can you can attempt to beat them. But use the rem remainder of your of your tickets, um, your tower tickets. I'm, I'm going to call them tower tickets, because I have no idea what they're called. Use the remainder of your tower tickets to go back and farm for... There's two things that you can farm for in the Tower of Insolence. One is to farm for certain items. I mean, these are pretty temporary. I mean, they're, they're going to be replaced in the future. Um, the second thing you can farm for is the boss. It, when you farm on certain floors, they, sometimes um, it spawns a boss, and you can farm, farm those bosses. Um, they usually, sp after they spawn, they, they spawn on like floor 20 or floor floor 10, like every 10 floors basically. And you can get soulstone pieces for those boss monsters. I know the, the tower boss um, the, for the first 10 floors is, is this one? Or where is she? This one. The Zenith Queen. Um, you can get pieces for her. I actually got one piece off of, you know, spawning her and farming her. The one for the 20th floor is, is this one. The... The Seer. And I'm not sure how good exactly these monsters are. I think in the future I'll definitely do some review videos talking about the certain skill sets of, of certain monsters. But for now, it's just basically, um, you know I, know, I know she's pretty good. So, like, if you want to put some effort into farming her, um, you know, maybe after like two or three weeks of farming it repeatedly, you probably should be able to get 20 pieces. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, so don't qu quote me on that. Um, so, you know, that's that's the second thing I want to do. I think I'll add two more to the list. Uh, third thing is obviously to do your battles for your arena. Wait, was that three? No, that was th this is already four. Right? This is the fourth. This is the fourth thing. Fourth thing is to do your Colosseum battles. Colosseum is very important. Um, Colosseum is basically your main method of getting the arena points, I think. Whatever they're called, alright? The PvP points. When you go to your shop and you, can, and you buy these... Uh, PvP points. I actually spent a little today to buy this. I'm not sure exactly how good this is, but it's red. It's the highest quality, so I was like, alright, fuck it. I'm gonna just buy it. It's also part of a set, so I, I bought it anyways. Um, I, my my main character, the one I use, is Lara, so I, I bought this, this cloak for her, which gives her EXP gain and evasion and magic damage, and the set bonus also gives her um, physical damage, which, which I guess is should be pretty good if I can... If I can collect three pieces of this cloak. Um, I'm pretty sure in the future some other pieces will be sold in the shop, so I, I guess start early and you know I can start collecting now. Um, for battle, you probably should just try to raise your rank as high as possible. Just keep the um, keep in mind like what, what rank usually is is each um, each uh, each tier. Like each reward tier. So there's the first place, second place, third place. 4th place to 10th place, you get this much, and then 10th, uh, 11th to to 100th place, you get this much, and then 100 to 500. Like, I think most people that started playing early are, are probably around this bracket. Um, I'm, I'm in this bracket too, I, I don't think I can push 100, not, probably not without, <laughs> without uh, paying a shit ton. Or maybe in the future, once like everyone gets everything maxed out, like there's probably going to be a more, more um, strategy to PvP and stuff, and maybe at that point, maybe I can use use um, knowledge and stuff to to get ahead of, of certain players um, but for now I think just stay within a certain tier and if you're very close to a certain tier like you're afraid of losing um, you can look at the re reset time I'm not sure exactly when the arena resets but I think it's when the day resets so that's I think it's like 5 a.m. at night for me so like I can't really worry too much about that but for for most people, like if you're living in the U.S. or something, but you know this is on the Asia server, 
um, you can kind of time the reset time and do it do your last battle like right before the reset because the way arena works is when you beat someone that's lo less lower rank than you or or like higher rank than you I mean um, you take their rank instead and they become your rank so you basically trade ranks if you defeat someone that's that's how PvP works in this game I actually like the system it, it seems really really fun um, just really really uh, I don't know. It's it's not very stable. It's like it, it seems really like volatile. Like you, your your rank can just change all of a sudden, and uh, you know, you just instantly instantly fuck over someone uh, without them even knowing what hit them. And once they find out, they're they're already fucked. So that's that's the third thing. The fourth thing is I I watch for the any events. Um, events are very very important. Um, I, maybe this should be bumped higher, but I don't think any of these things that I do daily have a, a any sort of uh, what should I say like any sort of ranking between because you, you probably want to do all of them together. So watch for events. Events are very important. Events do give you a lot of extra shit. So right now the one we have ongoing is the cube event. This cube event actually um, needs you to do stuff daily as well to complete the cube every single day, and you get you basically you get a ticket and that up upgrades this cube and then um, based on the status of your cube you get rewards like at the um, every single day basically you get you get rewards every single day for the quality of your cube so if you if you have your cube at level six um, then you get these items if you have them at level seven then you get these items and stuff like that um, I'm I'm still trying my best to try to get my cube to level seven. I'm like stuck at level six. It sometimes drops down. I'm not too sure if I want to try and and get it to um, level level eight or level nine or le even try to try for level ten. Um, but maybe on on like um, you know if I collect a few piece, few enchant tickets, I think they're called. If I collect a few, I might stay at. I might. Um, you know, try on the last few days to try to make it hit level 10. But I think once I get it to hit level 7, I'm gonna let it stay at level 7 for a bit, so I can at least get the uh, get the diamonds and the and the rubies and emeralds and sapphires every single day. So I kind of failed. Mine's a, mine's stuck at six right now. I am really really close. Hopefully I can get to level 7 soon and and get more rewards. Um, you know, it's just RNG. It's just luck. Nothing I can really do about it. So yeah, that's. I think that that made a pretty good video. That's five things, top five things I do every single day to make sure I um, I progress and keep up with everyone else. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm definitely going to be making more videos for this game in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace out.